Hey, what's up guys? So uh, just actually sending out some reminders or auto response to my coworkers so I can have a nice little vacation. Uh, Tree and I are actually going to Dubai and uh, we're flying out tomorrow morning. Right now I'm trying to pack, wrap things up. So I want to give you kind of a preview of what everything's kind of looking like before we take off or in trip. We're trying to get like the documents together, figure out what goes in what suitcase. They can be pretty tough trying to figure out what we want to take. Uh, we got new suitcases for each other for Christmas. Let me kind of just show you. Let's just show you. Trying to figure out, can you, you want to share a moisturizer? Hey, you are going to share dry shampoo. Now currently it's 8 p.m. Uh, Thursday evening, we fly out again Friday like morning. We're actually going to land in Dubai Friday at noon. <laughs> the time change is going to be crazy, so I'm kind of jet lag. See you tomorrow morning when we're already packed. We're going to go drop the car off and try to catch this flight. Good morning. So we got everything back. <laughs> everything meets the weight requirements. We're ready to go. It's like 6.52, so we got plenty of time to, you know, to figure out how to find the long-term parking get to the airport and then find your gate so we'll see you at the gate let's go all right so we just got some water burger our last little taste of america before we catch our flight um haven't even seen our gate usually when i come to the airport gotta find the gate first before we actually do anything else but this time uh, we have some time and we got some taquitos and burgers and we're gonna chow down and uh, try to catch this flight. Looking forward to it. Alright, finally got into the plane. We're about to take off here in a second. It's, uh, seat belts on, seats up, and about to be lights out. Time to go through customs. Hopefully, all our luggage made it. All right, so we actually need to take a taxi to go to the next terminal where my dad actually flew into, and then we're gonna kind of go together to check into the cruise. All right, about to get on the ship. Say hi, Anya. Katrina, Baba, excuse me, привет, hello. <laughs> I've got the whole game together, now we're about to go onto the ship and uh, check out what the room and the rest of the ship has in store for us. And here we go. Hey, what's up guys? Yesterday we got onto the boat. This is kind of what the lobbies look like. It's like 6.30 a.m. I'm talking quietly because I lost my voice yesterday. <coughs> and I feel like I got a little something in my throat. Hopefully I can get my voice back because I've been translating for Katrina and my family and helping my family out because they don't speak English that well. Nobody is fucking awake. So advantages of jet lag. Woke up super fucking early. I feel <laughs> totally energized. This probably won't last, but anyways, enjoy some clips of the ship. This is kind of cool, I don't know. Comment down below if you've ever seen something like this. There's literally no buttons. Like, look at this. And it takes me to 18. Like,
Uh, like I said earlier, my throat has been kind of bothering me a little bit, but we found this super awesome tea house. Amazing views. They're like the only ones in here. And like they have some amazing teas. Oh man. Therapeutic. What do you think? A plus plus. Yes, A plus. Dude, there's a tea house on your cruise ship or where you go. Definitely check it out. <laughs> This is awesome. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I have lost my voice, like, completely. So, we're in Serpanias right now, and uh, Katrina and I are having some uh, tea and coffee. Morning beams are kind of few right now. We're gonna go take, like, a little safari. We're gonna drive around, uh, maybe see some animals, and then spend some time at the beach. So, I'm drinking. Probably no more alcohol until my throat gets better. <laughs> okay, y'all. Hopefully next time you hear me talking, I have my voice back. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey, so um, we're in uh, Doha, Qatar, where they just had the World Cup and where this cruise ship was actually posted up at, acting as a hotel for people coming to see the World Cup. Yeah, we're about to go off the cruise. They're gonna take us to some city center. Just what we can tell from looking at a map, uh, Doha isn't actually very big, so things are relatively close together. So we didn't see much of uh, Saudi Arabia because there wasn't much to see, at least what we could tell from the ship and from what we heard from other people that were explored. They also doubled the visa prices, so it's like... Not... Yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. It was like 120 euros or so for a visa, and the excursion was 80 or 70 euros. It seemed like a big waste of money, money drain. We spend our money on a nice dinner instead, and that's kind of what we did. See you in Doha. Islamic art and it's like amazing like so fascinating like I've never seen anything like this and like it's just so perfectly presented it's amazing let me, let me show you what it looks like outside Waterfall. And then let me take you to where the skyline is. المحطة القادمة هي
بنك ابو ظبي التجاري The next station is ADCB يمكنكم من خلالها الانتقال الى And now we are walking to get some Starbucks. After Starbucks, safari time. Hopefully, don't have to use the bathroom in the desert. That will be problematic. And the weather is amazing here. It is so good. Like, look at the rat. What's the weather right here? We got water fountains. We got Lamborghini Urus right here. And, you know, electric scooters. We got the beach. Glad to be back. I've actually been here once before. You know, the only reason I come here is to go to KFC, my favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a little inside joke. These, these two hate KFC. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. Comment down below if you hate KFC. <laughs> Yo, what is up everyone? So I'm back home at the apartment. I just wanted to do a quick recap. Flight was brutal. At least it was a direct flight. But when we got there, this ship was just enormous. We were the first ones to stay on this ship since it was actually docked outside of Qatar for the World Cup. But we took off from Dubai, saw Abu Dhabi. From there, we went to Sirbani Yas, which is this kind of like private island for the royal family where they grow some of their vegetation and kind of go to relax. They had imported all these like animals and all the vegetation was pretty much being artificially sustained. It, it just felt unreal. Uh, I felt like a utopia. Just something made for a very interesting and cool experience. After that, we went to Qatar, which was actually one of my favorite places. I'd never been there before. Everything from the infrastructure was insane. I expected to see some nice uh, skyscrapers, and we did. I expected to see stadiums from the World Cup, and we did. But again, what blew me away was the subway system. So nice. It was like out of Star Wars or Star Trek. And then the museums were absolutely breathtaking. From there, we actually ended up finishing the journey back in Dubai, where I get to experience parts of Dubai that I never had before. It's like we did a desert safari during the sunset with the camels, the ATVs, a little bit of the sand surfing. That was fun. Um, despite me getting sick a little bit, despite some language barriers between, you know, Katrina, the family, we still had a great time. And I highly would recommend uh, going to the Middle East, uh, especially the UAE. Comment down below if you've ever been to the Middle East uh, what your experience was like or do you have any questions about my experience i'm going to be responding to every single comment uh down below for the next 24 to 40 hours after this video goes public also it's coming to my attention that we have quite a bit of subscribers but a lot of you don't have notification bell on so go ahead hit the notification bell if you're subscribed subscribe if you have it a lot of cool content coming in the next few weeks i'm going to el paso to work out with my boy connor I've seen him before. See you next time. We got some big videos coming.